Hi, I'm Pam Chadwick. I'm a Norwex independent sales consultant. And today I want to offer my world of Norwex. I'm going to explain a little bit about our products, do a couple of demos, and then uh, hopefully give you a better idea of what Norwex has to offer. One of the things I'd like to point out is that and these are from some, some cards that I have with, with facts. The, did you know the average household contains about 62 toxic chemicals? And did you know that 3,000 tons of paper towel waste is created every day? So what can I do to help families create a greener and safer home, a safe haven? So let's get started. I have now placed what we call our solution cards around the table with the various products to show you that Norwex has something for everybody to solve pretty much everything. But I'm going to start with our flagship cloth. This is called the Enviro cloth. Remember E for everything, cleans everything. A little bit about our microfiber because Norwex does lead the industry in microfiber technology. <clears throat> our microfibers, um, to, to qualify as a microfiber, it has to be one sixth of a human hair. Norwex is one two hundredth of a human hair. Very, very fine. It's a combination of polyester and polymide, and most of the cloths, not all of them, have what's called backlock. That means that when the fibers are in their liquid form, silver is mixed with them. A lot of people know that silver is um, an antiseptic uh, and, a, and a healing element. My nurses out there would know that. Um, they put silver nitrate in newborn's eyes, etc. Anyway, that forms these cloths with the backlock. And the backlock, when you see it on the label, it means they're a self-cleaning cloth. Self-cleaning? Yes, and I'll explain that later. In the meantime, these fibers, they're high quality cloths. You may find imitations on the market for cheaper, but they're not gonna be this quality. This cloth, not only is the fiber thinner, but it is woven, it's very tight, and there is 10 million feet of fiber in this cloth. If I stood in Mexico, and held one end, you could go to Canada and hold the other end. No kidding. You might go, all right, so what? Okay, so what? So what is surface area? Now all this surface area of all these microfibers allows you to pick up 99% of the bacteria when done properly and cared for properly. 99% of the bacteria on your surfaces comes out just by wetting this with water and giving it a wipe over. Seriously, it mechanically picks it up. And I will show you today that that bacteria, once it's picked up, does not cross contaminate to other cloths or other surfaces. And I can show you that today. So this is our flagship product. and, and it is wonderful for cleaning E everything. Now, let's say you want to clean some windows and your windows always get streaky and you go through a million paper towels and you have to use some kind of window cleaner with a toxic chemical in it. Not anymore. You wet the Enviro, you clean off the dirt and grime from your window. Then you take the window cloth, the purple one here, and it says window, also has backlock, and you polish it streak free and it it's happened so fast, you can go through your windows literally in half the time. Not more, I don't know. Depends on how fast you are. The, um, these two are our primary products, and because they're our primary products, we put them in a package called the Basic, and you save a few bucks if you buy them through the Basic package. Now this EnviroCloth, uh, there's a couple of versions of it. I, this is the basic, but also what happens, they have another one that has this little scrubby corner on it. 
So if you are cleaning something that needs just a little extra boost, it's a little scratchy, this will give you a little, little extra scrub power. And so that one can be kind of handy. Um, the other one, I don't have one, but it has a, a magnet embedded here. So if um, you're in, a, say, a classroom environment, you've got file cabinets, and you could stick that thing there and have it handy to clean up spills. So that's the other option. Or um, if you have a refrigerator, uh, mostly the sides of a refrigerator, they're still the metal that will um, magnets will stick to. So I'm going to do the demos of these just a little bit later, but I want to kind of do a real quick run through. The next product I want to show you is the dust mitt. So, so far I'm talking about cleaning. Cleaning uh, surfaces, cleaning windows, scrubbing things that are a little harder. This is our dust mitt. I don't know if the, the dirt shows up on it, but I use this one. Um, this uses um, static electricity to pick up dust from surfaces. And the cool part about it is, here's the solution card, why bother dusting? It comes back so quickly. When you use uh, furniture polishes, they leave a residue once you wipe them off. And what happens is it's a sticky surface and the dust shows up so much quicker. But you use these, that doesn't happen. That means you don't dust as often and you're saving time. Also, you can wet these. I personally like to wet dust myself. So I wet mine and I do everything wet. And it doesn't take much water, you squeeze them out real well, and it, it doesn't hurt your furniture one bit because it immediately dries. Dust mitt, awesome. You can do your blinds. Um, also, the other thing you can do is, you get two of these, you can go on either side of your screen, you don't even need to, but you can do your screens. It, it's amazing how it gets all the dirt in between the little things of your screen, and you can use that wet or dry. Dust mitt, awesome thing. These three, also come in the household package, and you save a few more bucks getting these three through the package. Now, we can handle all kinds of rooms in the house, and so far we just talked about general cleaning. Um, I'm gonna talk about, we have a mop system, but I'm gonna talk about that just a little bit later. First, I'm gonna run through real quick. We have also an optic scarf cloth to clean your glasses and um, leaves them streak free and doesn't scratch. And then for the kitchen area, there's a number of things. And a lot of people that I talk to are get kind of confused over the different kitchen cloths. So I'm gonna run through that really, really quickly and give you an idea of, of what's going on. So first of all, this is called the all-purpose cloth. It says kitchen, it has a waffle weave, and it does not have backlock. And you say, well, if I'm trying to buy these things because they self-clean and they won't stink, oh, I didn't mention that, did I? They don't stink. Um, why wouldn't I want this to have the backlock? Well, when you use the, uh, the cloth with backlock, you really only need water. That's all you ever need. But if you do need something extra, like perhaps dishwashing liquid, if you use our dishwashing liquid, it, it will help keep this clean, and also you can use that with your back, back lock cloths. This is Waffle Weave All Purpose. It's always gray. The next one that's kind of interesting is called the Netted Cloth, and it's called that for a reason. It's a big net. There you go. Now this thing is good for scrubbing dishes, you can use it with the dishwashing soap. It also does not have the backlock. Um, another thing this is great for, if you do a lot of baking or a lot of, say you make your own pasta, that sort of thing, you have flour everywhere, you wet this thing, boy, it gets it up in that, literally that. It is amazing. So that's what that one's for. Now, there's two more. This one, let's say, let's talk about this one first. This is our cute little uh, counter cloth holder. Comes with six. I only show three here because three of mine are dirty. Um, these things are uh, supposed to help you avoid reaching for the paper towels. Look what the size is. They're, half, they're the half paper towel. These are great. Um, they have the back lock in them. And they're also made from recycled materials. Another plus. So 
how I use these. I am not a person who wants a million different rags in my kitchen and have to remember, oh wait, use that one, no, use that one, no, use that one. So I have these on my counter. I use these. I grab one a day. It stays pretty much wet most of the time and it's wiping up everything. It keeps my counters wiped up, keeps my stove wiped up, and I even wash the dish was dishes with them that day using the Norwex dishwashing liquid. At the end of the day, I rinse it out really well and I stick it over the roof of the house and I let it dry. The next day, I go put it in the laundry and I grab the next one. Now that's how I do it. If you have tougher problems, you can grab this one. If you feel like you need a larger cloth to do your dishes, you grab this one. Now, if you have a really tough job, this is called the scrub cloth. Now, this could be, this has a, a roughy surface. It's, it's scratchy like this. Um, and it will let you, that hurt. It will really let you get into something and, and clean it. Um, you can use this in your kitchen, pots and pans, or you can use it in the bathroom to get scum off. And speaking of the bathroom, it's also the same fabric that's on our bathroom scrub mitt. And I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Now, one more thing. So this, oh wait, sorry. I'm not perfect at this. Don't need to be. There is another cloth for the kitchen. This is just called plain old kitchen cloth. The beauty of these, this is what I call the set it out cloth. These are pretty. They come in lovely colors. I, this is called sunflower. There's one is called the cloth. These have back lock in them. I am not afraid to use this for dishes as long as I've got my Norwex dishwashing liquid. This is the towel. This is amazing. Um, I use this to dry my towels. It dries them. You, um, you know sometimes you dry your dishes and you keep drying and you keep drying because the water, you can still see the water on there. This stuff, your dishes are so dry, just you swipe it and they're dry. You put them away, you're saving time because you're not standing there with one dish, keep swiping and swiping to get it dry. And this kitchen cloth. I love these, I love their colors, and I set them out. Now you say, but I thought you said you use the counter cloth. I do. And what I do is these are if I wash dishes by hand, which honestly I don't do that often because I have a dishwasher. And this is um, for drying those things. These are everything. I swipe everything. Um, so that's our, uh, for the kitchen. And one thing to note, because this has the backlock in it, when you wet it and you wipe your countertops, 99% of the bacteria is being captured in the cloth. Amazing. That's pretty much in the kitchen area. Now we can move on. Oh, one thing I didn't tell you about. So, that's the kitchen cleaning. Well, what about your food? All right. Huh. They have an answer for that too. Pesticides on your vegetables. All right. We've got a couple of ways to feeding that. This is called fruit and veg, and it's got a similar scratchy surface to it. It's always this color, and you wet this and you can scrub carrots. Now, this video I'm gonna use with my Facebook parties, but you need to watch the posts on my Facebook because I'll post some before and after pictures to see this. My daughter did an experiment where she hand washed a carrot from the store, hand washed a carrot, veggie scrubbed a carrot, and peeled a carrot. The veggie scrub looked a lot like the peeled carrot. How much time does that save you? Amazing, right? But that's not all we have for the veggies, and I'll show you here. We also have these produce bags. They say produce bags, what do I need those for? Well, you know those little bags you grab at the store and you throw in a handful of uh, zucchini and maybe some cucumbers and a head of lettuce, right? Well. You, you come home and you've got all these bags, all these plastic bags, and what do you do? Throw them away, and there they are. They go in the landfills. So here's what you can do. You put these in them, put, put these in them, put your produce in here. 
it can go right on the scale like that and be weighed. And you say, oh, wait, what about the size of the weight of the bag? Well, I weighed it. It's 0.6 of an ounce. For the convenience, it's totally worth it. 0.6 of an ounce, maybe a penny. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, here's the other beautiful part. You bring these home. They're going to have pesticides on them. Even if you buy organic, they're not going to be clean. So, we have this produce wash. And now, people say, how much do you use? Well, you know what? I put a bowl in the sink and I put a couple of gloves, you know, scientific measurement glove. I put that in there and then I take the whole cloth with my vegetable or fruit in it and I just soak it in there for a couple minutes, take it out, rinse it under the faucet, shake it out, and it goes in my crisper saving time and your vegetables are clean when you pull them out of the refrigerator to start cooking. I'm telling you, they thought of everything. Okay, so now we're gonna move from um, that. Um, we touched on the bathroom a little bit here. Um, so let me kind of get into that. We have this bathroom cleaner. Um, it is based on enzymes. It's, it's quite, uh, it's safe for septic systems and no animal derived ingredients, not tested on animals. And it's amazing how it cleans your bathroom. It will clean your tile, it will clean your toilets, it will clean your sinks. Um, it's amazing stuff. I didn't bring a penny with me, but um, you put a, I can put a little of this in the cap and put a copper penny in it. And when I pull it out, that half of the penny is bright and shiny. So it's natural products, but it's quite, quite effective. This we talked about a little while ago. It's the bath scrubbing mitt. <coughs> scratchy, sorry, scratchy on one side and scrubby on the other side. This is a, similar to the dust mitt, and this is similar to the blue cloth. Now, now we're getting into some of the awesome stuff. I can't say enough about this cleaning paste. Simply amazing. Now this is my personal can. <clears throat> I've used about that much and I have cleaned um, the camper. We have an RV. I've cleaned the shower in the, in the RV and I've cleaned my husband's shower and I've cleaned my bathtub and I've cleaned the door of my oven. I'll post a picture of that too. Um, and that's all I've used. This stuff is supposed to last you um, going on a year. Um, so amazing stuff. I, I can't make it without it. And here's the little magic bullet that goes with this. It doesn't come with it, but it comes in a pack of two. This is a Spiri sponge, two in a pack, and it's scratchy. You can use it with the cleaning paste. And ladies, do you have smooth top stoves? Amazing. You know, you, you don't have to do this every day. You get the built up stuff off of there that's been there because you never had things to really clean it with. And once you do that, guess what you maintain it with? You can maintain it with this. You can maintain it with an Enviro. You can maintain it with any of our microfibers. And you're not gonna be doing this every day. Do it once, make it shine and pretty, and then maintain it. Now, how much time have you saved? And your house is clean and safe. This is our laundry detergent. Um, this is called Ultra Power Plus, UPP. They've reformulated it. It's now just called laundry detergent. Um, it's the same amazing stuff. Um, I have used it to get stains out of wine stains, out of pillows, out of carpeting, uh, tomato sauce stains out of carpeting, and it's great for laundry as well. And I'm going to show you something. This is the scoop. Do not use a whole scoop. That you totally don't need it. A half a teaspoon. I have a, a small front loader in my in my RV, and I measured out. I don't know if you can see that. Just barely cover the bottom. That will do a small load. Double that for a large load. This stuff will last forever. And it's amazing stuff. And it's all natural. And it's great for your clothes. <clears throat> and while we're talking about this laundry detergent, when you launder our cloths, not only do you just clean with water, but when you launder the cloths, 
Use this, it's the best thing you can use for them. No fabric softener, no bleaches, no nothing. You wash them in hot water, you dry them in a hot dryer. And they love you for it. The next thing, speaking of dryers, these are our 100% New Zealand wool uh, dryer balls. Completely 100% wool. And you go, how do I know they're wool? Because I'm allergic to wool. But I'm not allergic to using these in my dryer. Yep, that's wool. Um, three for a normal load, for a large load, double it up, use six. Awesome. These will save you a, a drying time because they bounce around and they fluff your cloth. And you can also, if you want to have a scent, use some of your essential oils on one of these and put a nice little smell of essential oils in your dryer and you still maintain your safe haven. Now we also have this detergent in liquid form if you prefer the liquid over the powdered. The next thing, say I talked to you about the bathroom cleaner. Um, the next thing I'm going to tell you about is not only do we have all of these and so we've covered general cleaning, we haven't covered floors, uh, we've covered the kitchen and the bath, but do you know we also have product, personal products, and this is one of the things I love the most. <clears throat> we have towels, hand towels, body cloths, and face cloths, makeup removers. So this, we're talking all water, no, no soaps, no soap on your face. Imagine that. This, you wet it, wring it out, wipe your face. It will remove all your makeup. When you're done, rinse it out, kind of scrub it a little, rinse it out, wring it out, let it dry. It also has the backlock, so it's going to kill any bacteria on there. And then um, use it again the next day. And you can use these for a week before you ever have to wash them. The backlock is what keeps these cloths from stinking. <coughs> Who likes stinky cloths? Now this is called the body cloth. I'll call it a washcloth. Um, again, you use it, you wet it, and you just, you can wash like this, and you don't need soap. If you still want soap, we sell a shower gel that really has this really nice little citrus smell to it. I love it, and I actually do use it. Um, these also, for the ladies, you can wet these and scrub them up and down your leg and get your leg wet. You can shave and have no razor burn. I, I don't know why, but it works. And also, if you do that and you shave, you're going to find that you get a much, much closer shave. Don't have to shave as often. Save more time. But that's not all. We also have uh, facial care products that are, are natural and good for you and lip balm. Mm, I cannot live without my lip balm. And we also have, um, uh, it's called Rescue Gel. And it's uh, some essential oils. You just kind of rub it on your neck and the back of your neck and it'll give a little tingle and it just relaxes you. It's very, very nice stuff. So like I said, we have lots of things. So now, I'm going to show you the mop, and after that, we'll do some demos. Be right back. I forgot to get my mop out. I have the pads. This is our mop. It's already set to my height. Let me. It is adjustable in height, which is good. I'm 4'11", my husband's 6'3", so it's kind of a nice thing to get him to mop. So the handle goes up and down. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. It goes up and down, and then you the key is adjust it to about your about shoulder height. Tighten it up. You know, I never did get that lefty loosey righty tidy thing down. Okay, there we go. Tighten it up. And now this is the bottom plate. <clears throat> 
And a little thing I'll show you here is it's in lock mode. You unlock it and it allows it to do all this kind of swivel things to get under things. And then you lock it down and now it's more controlled for straight up and down. So there are several pads. The first pad is the yellow dry mop pad. And we, they've come out with some new colors now. And so the rhyme doesn't work, but it used to be if it's sun, it's yellow, it's, wet, it's dry. If it's wet, it's blue. So <clears throat> this just goes on here with Velcro, like so. And now you use this to mop dust off. It's actually for dust. You can dust off your floors. They recommend a figure eight pattern. And when you're done dusting the floor, you can take this off. We have this brush. Pull this over your trash can or take it outside and it'll brush all the dirt off into the trash. Now, if you want to clean your floor, there's the blue pad. You wet this one and squeeze it out. And you put it on here and you mop the floor. It's awesome. It does a wonderful, wonderful job on wood floors, laminate floors, linoleums, etc. These come with the mop. This one does not. It's extra. This is the tile mop. I love this one. It's got like a little scratchy things in the, in the little blue things. And the thing you do when you have this on here doing your tile, it, it just gets in that grout area and cleans the tile so wonderful. And another trick to tell you is when you come to a tough spot, you stick your foot on here, put a little weight on there and scrub it, and it comes right out. Beautiful. Now there is one mop pad that I don't have, <clears throat> but it looks real similar to this. It's called the chenille. Now this one's more if your floor has not just dust, but you know, like your wood floors will have dust. Your kitchen floor will have crumbs. This is for the crumbs. And I don't, like I said, I don't have the one that goes with the mop. But one thing I did want to show you is that this called the Enviro wand is awesome for dusting things. And you can bend it to get around things up behind. It's, it's very, very cool. And the cool part, and the reason I'm showing you this, is that their handles are interchangeable. So I can take the mop handle off and put my Enviro wand on here. And guess what? Now I'm up at the ceiling fans and the tall ceilings and I can get all that. Very, very awesome. Very, very cool. So now let's do some demos. Real quick. Let's get, let me get some butter out of the fridge. And let me get a piece of chicken. This is a piece of raw chicken. And let me get some butter. Yes, this is real time and it's uh, in my kitchen. So let's see here. <clears throat> All right. First thing, <clears throat> and I have to go wet my Enviro cloth. Just a quick wet. And then I tell you, an Enviro cloth will absorb up to two cups of water. That's that surface area. Okay, here's my Enviro cloth. First thing I'm gonna do is the mirror. So, here we go. Remember we talked about washing windows. This butter is hard, so let me get some off of here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna smear this up. Now, if you have kids, I have grandkids. Obviously, I had kids first. Um, their hands go everywhere. So there it is. Hope you can see how nasty that is. Okay, hello Enviro, how are you? Enviro cloth, and oh by the way, here's a tip. Take your Enviro cloth and do it in four pieces. You now have eight wiping surfaces. One, two, three, four, and then turn it around and you got four more. So let's, let's wipe this off. Look at that. 
You probably can't see it, but that's just doing two swipes of the Enviro and polish it up. There, can you see how cool that is? Now the next thing we're gonna do, <clears throat> we got this raw chicken sitting here. Ugh. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take that raw chicken. I'm gonna smear it back on the mirror. Yucko. Yucko, yucko. I need something to throw that away on. Here, let me grab something. There we go. So, I have raw chicken. And notice I'm wiping my fingers on this cloth. This is a protein swab, test swab. And what it will do is prove to us we have presence of protein from the chicken. So I'm gonna swab this real good. I'm gonna stick it in here. Break it, add the stuff, shake it up, and you wait a little bit. And then there's a scale on the back. Green means not present, and as it moves toward purple, it means present. And I'm gonna, excuse me, that's my coffee pot, turn it on. You can see it's turned the color. So now the proteins are present. So what I'm going to do, take my Enviro cloth and I'm going to wipe it. Now, wait a minute. I, let me, uh, I wiped it. That's the dirty side. That wasn't chicanery here. Let me, let me do it again. Chicken back. Chicken back, here's the cloth, wipe the cloth. Okay, dirty side up. There's our first pin. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna go back over this. Put it in here, <clears throat> break it. Shake it up, we're gonna wait. You see it's green and it's staying green. Cool, right? So the cloth picked up the chicken juice, but now I'm gonna show you even further. Dirty side up. I'm going over this cloth, dirty side up. Now it's gonna turn this purple, right? Hey folks, it's still green. No cross contamination. Is that not awesome? That is very awesome. So that's the demos for today. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Um, if you have any questions at all about any of these products, feel free to add them into the comments and I will answer all your questions. And happy shopping!